Because when you are honest with yourself or with others, then you are operating from love. You are thinking and you're acting or you're speaking from love. Now, the reason is because when you're honest, then instead of operating through fear, you're operating through the other emotion, which is love. And if you, if you were to ever lie or ever to be dis, dishonest, then you're actually operating through fear because you're in fearful of what the result might be if you tell the truth. Now, to be honest all the time can be challenging, can be tough. And a lot of times it can be easier to just lie um, for the short-term result. But if you're honest with yourself and others, then what happens is you travel down the path of honesty and there is power behind you because you're operating from love. You might not see as much results in the short term and a perfect example would be, say, let's say in sales. If you're in the sales industry, then if you were to lie to a customer in order to get a sale, then sure, you can go about getting a sale, but you're not going to create the long-term results where someone who had honesty would create if that person with honesty was to develop and keep growing their business and their skills. When you operate from honesty, you will need to develop your skills as in any business. And if you travel down the path of honesty, then you might find that you'll, you'll feel that you need to develop your skills even more than if you were dishonest. Because anyone can lie and get away with something in the short term and make a quick sale. But for you to be honest in sales means that you have to improve your skills so that you can be honest, be congruent and have a strong sense of belief and have effective sales skills and travel the direction of honesty. Know that when you're fully honest and you fully believe in your product, belief overpowers a lot of skills. So if you're in sales and you don't have a lot of skill in what you do, then if you have strong belief for that product, that can outweigh any skill anyway. So travel along the path of honesty, develop your skills, keep working on your skills, which is being honest with yourself anyway. Because if you're not developing skills and you're not growing and you're not living a life of love or that path of honesty. Honesty is not just in what you say, honesty is also in what you do. Because if you're not doing what you love, for example, then you're denying yourself. And if you're not, say, looking after your body or eating healthy, if that's important to you, then you're not looking after yourself. Whatever's important to you, if you do not, do not follow what's important to you, then you're lying to yourself internally, unconsciously. So there's power in honesty because when you are honest with yourself, when you're completely truthful with yourself, where is what I'm doing right now, moving towards my goals, am I looking after what's most important to me? If you are doing what's honest to you internally, then there is power in that because it's going to create the results that you want. And there's also honesty in what you say and what you do to others. Now, that can be challenging sometimes because sometimes it can be tempting just to go through the path of fear and just do something that's dishonest. The more you train yourself in honesty, the more power you have and other people will recognize that and long term, they will definitely recognize it. Know that the universe never wants you to be dishonest. So if you ever have to be dishonest for any reason, then there is a learning behind that that will teach you that, well, if you had chosen honesty, you might have come back with a different result. Actually, you would have come out with a more powerful result because in alignment with the path that you're supposed to be. If you're operating from dishonesty, then you're operating from fear and you should never need to act from fear. Instead, you should step into love and act from love instead. Now, again, it can be very challenging, but if you have a look at people like Mahatma Gandhi and the results that he created, because he is honest with himself and he knew that if I act through love, if I act in what's in what I, from what I believe, from my heart, from love, he acted in non-resistant, um, non-violent resistance towards the British government. So in that belief system that he had, he fully believed in that and he valued that. And so he committed to that outcome and he was honest with himself. And when he fully committed to that outcome, there was great power that backed that honesty. And there was great power that backed that he calls it truth. He says his life was devoted to truth. And truth is based in love. So if you choose a path of truth and you go down that path and you're honest with yourself, you're honest with others and what you say, then there is an incredible power that's backing that's a power of love. And even if you feel maybe if you're honest, then maybe you'll you know, create a disempowering result or you lose a job or something. Know that if you ever are faced with a situation where you have to be honest, just go ahead and step into it and tell the truth and see what happens because you might be surprised that the universe never wants you to lie. So if you always tell the truth, you might be surprised with what comes about.
because that will always move you in the direction that you're supposed to.